Judges and coaches for the last match coming out. Equipment being set up. So we'll have the last match and then we'll have the opening ceremony. And then we'll probably, I think we break until 3 o'clock when the recurves matches start. So it's going to be exciting. So Turkey ranked fourth and the USA ranked second which means that the USA get to decide whether they would like to shoot first or second as they are the higher ranked archers. We haven't seen an indication on the scoreboards yet. As soon as we know, we'll let you know. It looks like the USA has chosen to shoot first. Very wise decision there. That's, I think, again, that's one of those strategies we talked about, you mm. know. Yeah, do you want to shoot first? Do you want to lay the pressure on straight away? Exactly. Do you want to see what you're up against? Who knows? Sometimes I think if you're shooting second, it's, it's, it can have a tendency to be playing catch up. Mm. Not always. Definitely. But you've definitely got a standard laid out in front of you already. Or shot out in front of you. Turkey's coming on the field. So this is a first appearance for Turkey this morning, and what an appearance to appear in the gold match. Mm -hmm. Two archers using a wheelchair, one uh, standing archer choosing to shoot with a stool, it appears. Perfectly allowable by all the rules in para-archery. Again, if you've uh, if you if you've missed our description a little bit about the different divisions and the categories in archery and para archery specifically, we have the W ones, which are the uh, generally a, a disability in both the upper and the lower extremities in Compound open, just generally. It's one or the other. Is this an impairment either upper body or lower body, isn't it? Yes, but generally uh, has a tendency to be um, confined to the lower body. Mm -hmm. Not not in all cases, but in in most cases as yeah. you see it going along. And then there is uh, VI archery, and we're there excited. Is? Visually impaired archery. We're excited to have them back as part of the program at these world championships. They've, they've come and gone and been a part and then uh, we haven't had any participation, but they're back again and you will get to see them in action tomorrow. Please join us and make sure you see it. It is, it is quite it's exceptional, isn't it? Exactly. Uh, we have an exceptional athlete on the field today right now with uh, with the USA archery team, Matt Stutzman, he was born with no arms and shoots from a seated position with his leg as his uh, extension uh, in place of a bow arm. Very personable young man. And he's incredible. There isn't anything he can't do. I've, I've seen him like basketballing and shooting hoops. He's, he's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Doesn't let anything stop him. He tells a very funny story about the time he was first pulled over for speeding by a policeman. <laughs> I can imagine. I can imagine. <laughs> he got instructions from the policeman to put his hands out the window. Oh and he yells, gosh. I can't. Put your hands out the window. I can't can imagine your heart's beating so <laughs> fast. Like, oh my gosh, what do I do? Well, in the end, the policeman walked up to the car, not knowing what he was going to find. And then there sits Matt, you know, and, and the policeman just looked at him and, and walked away, walked back to his car. And Matt thought, oh, he's going to call in and make, uh, you know, get some instructions or talk to somebody back at the, at the base. And the the officer just got in his car and drove away. Yeah, that's brilliant. Matt <laughs> wasn't sure whether he was supposed to wait or follow. Or, or, or what was he exactly. doing? Exactly. <laughs> so got out of that one just because he didn't have any arms. Brilliant. So Matt to shoot first. And, it's a and that's a nine. Wonderful well, shot there for Matt well to start done. with. So Matt's Matt has an exception with the loading the arrow. Arrow, sorry. You're not allowed the arrows out of the quiver until the person has said go. But Matt has his arrows flat on the floor. So he is able to then pick them up with his feet and load the arrow 
as they say go. So like the, the exception in the d uh, in the details of the rule is Matt may have his arrows out, but he can't pick it, pick up. it up. That's right. exactly it. Yes. Whereas um, a seated archer or standing archer can actually have their a hand on it, uh, have a hand on it, and have it partially out of the quiver. Mm -hmm. How are we doing? I um, think it's the point, isn't it? The point is not allowed to have left the quiver until the other person has said go. Correct. So USA starts out with a 989, 26. And Turkey's up at full draw with their first arrow of this match. And that's a 10. Strong, strong start for Turkey there. Some pretty comparable scores from both teams as they've made their way through the qualification rounds to get here. And that's a miss for the turkey. Ooh, that's interesting. Anyway, turkey um, shot against Austria in the 1 8th round with a 227 to a 209, then went against Ukraine. And that's a nine for their third arrow. Uh, in the quarterfinals, in qualifying, they went against Ukraine with a 226 to a 222. And then bested Italy with the 230 in the semifinal rounds. That's up at full Absolutely draw. Absolutely exceptional. So he shoots with his foot, he releases there, and then 10. Wonderful shot from Matt. That looked like a strong shot. Mm. It's very strong. So, attached to Matt's shoulder, he's got a harness. So, if, if you're not being able to see this, Matt has a harness that runs just under. Uh, the armpit. So therefore that helps him to be able to shoot. Mm -hmm. uh, and on, on, uh, on the harness he's got a, a release aid. So he uh, clips the release aid onto the string while he's in a crouched position or a, a bent over position um, with his foot in the bow grip. And then he will uh, extend his once he gets the release aid onto the string, then he just extends the, the, the bow foot uh, or the bow leg, as the yep. case may be, as opposed to a bow arm. And uh, then uses his shoulders to uh, facilitate the release. Brilliant. So well done. Turkey has opened up with a 10 on this, last, on this uh, second half of their end. Nice. A nine. Great recovery. He's gone from a miss to a nine. That's a very strong oh, recovery wonderful. there. So there are ten seconds left now. And that's a nine. Ten nine nine. So we're looking at forty seven to fifty four, so down by seven. Turkey down by seven. Matt has a great sense of humor. Anytime he can, he cracks a joke about, you know, you surprised me, I threw my hands up and they're gone. <laughs> yeah, I had the pleasure of shooting with Matt in the, he came over for the National Series Finals last year. So I had the pleasure of shooting with him in a team round, which is quite funny because I am missing my left hand. So there was quite a few hand jokes going along Between there. The we, so we often have team rounds in the States and um, in most of our national level competitions where the paras are entered in their uh, separate divisions for qualifications, we put everybody together in, the, uh, in a uh, combined division for eliminations. Uh, and in the team rounds, we don't specify other than, other than sometimes age mm -hmm. when, you make, when you can combine a team at an event or just prior to an event and and oftentimes the, the teams with para individuals or with para archers will always make reference to something about their disabilities so in a in, t in a team with two able-bodied archers and one para archer who's missing an arm it's five and a half hands yeah <laughs> or it's you know uh, a leg short yeah. I get it all the time the, the minute someone says to me oh Jody do you need a hand with that and I'm like have you got one <laughs> and they're like Oh no! And I'm not. No, it's a joke. Because they, they don't know. They don't know whether to laugh or take it offensively or. 
where I get a uh, Jodie, can I have a hand? And I'm like, well, no, because last time I gave you a hand, you never gave it back. There and that go. doesn't go down <laughs> very well either. All right. Uh, Turkey's going to be starting out this uh, second end, and the mm -hmm. clock is started. Loading the first archer's arrow. So that's a nine. Ten. His recovery has been phenomenal. Makes you wonder what kind of uh, what flute. happened. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What kind of glitch happened in that first shot that uh, made it go where it did? Nine. Nine. Okay, Matt to shoot now. He must have some core stability to be able to hold that position. Absolutely. As you look at it, he's uh, just on a very, very strong shot left from um, Matt. Gives the foot, a foot, a foot, a foot pump, as opposed to a fist pump. Yeah. Because I saw it happen. I saw the the, the foot just go. Yes. yes. Exactly. Uh, he does. Yeah, he's got one leg off the floor. He's got a weight on the leg, which is potentially the bow, because it's quite heavy. Mm -hmm. And then he's leaning back. So he must. He must be have some really. We've got to have a nice strong core yeah. to make that happen. That that shooting position happen. So a massive thank you out there to Jeremy and Lucas who have been following us from the beginning. 10.99 for uh, Team USA. Very nice, very nice. Nice strong shooting. Turkey up at full draw for this second half of the second end. That's a high eight. Nerves might be creeping in just a little bit now. Not quite as strong this end as they were on their opening end. Well, just counting the nerves. like a very <laughs> strong shot, and it was his 10. Nice. It did look nice. Mm. Well executed. Just that hold, like the muscle, the core, everything. It's a whole body, isn't yeah. it? Leaning back at almost a 45 degree angle. Yeah. Yeah, and then when he lets go, it leans even farther. And that's a great shot. Yeah. And he manages to balance and not fall off mm -hmm. the stool when he, when he releases. Mm -hmm. It's exceptional. 10, great shot. 9, 10. Ooh, it's close. Andre just recently had the performance, uh, a, a great performance at the Para Pan American Games mm. in Toronto, where he was uh, prevailed to take the, the gold medal. Brilliant. Yeah, that's a questionable arrow from Andre. And uh, Ben Thompson finishes out the end for the Americans with a 10. Leading by 10 points overall. Again, don't. Oh, if they if if Turkey had had that miss, we we'd have a much closer match. We I would, think. yeah, we really would. But there's still two ends to go. <coughs> don't leave us yet. We're not over. We're not finished. Yet. With this. I think we've had an exceptional morning today. We the matches have all been close. They have all been exceptional. They've been exciting. A couple shoot-offs. It's been wonderful. 
the spectators are certainly getting a uh, world championship getting a show, performance. aren't they? Definitely. Yes, they are. Yes. And they're appreciating it, too. It's good to see them here. It's good to have them participating. I think if they're enjoying it as much as we are, Sherry, we're going to have some very happy spectators. It's good to know. So it did get upgraded, so there is now an 11 point lead. 50. 57 to 53, which totals 100 points for Turkey to 111 for the USA. Scores are confirmed. The judge is indicating that we may move forward with the match as soon as she reaches her position. The signal for the 10 second ready will be given and Turkey will start us out this end. Again, the wind waffling just between zero and a meter per second. <laughs> Nothing to speak ten. Of. Lovely start. No, uh, very nicely done. Nothing that's going to uh, make the arrows drift at all. Ten, wonderful. They really uh, answer into that lead. They want to, they want to catch up. As you said, that uh, the gentleman in the in the middle there has definitely come back from mm. his first end miss. A nine to finish out those three arrows for twenty nine. Nicely done. Matt loading his bow. Wonderful shot from Matt, absolutely wonderful. So strong, so precise. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And they're just not giving them wiggle yeah. room, are they? They're no, they're... Uh, they're making sure they're going to win the match, mm -hmm. not not just shoot arrows. Beautiful yeah. shot, nice absolutely beautiful shot. Ben. Wonderful thirty ten, there. Ten, ten, ten for Team USA. USA lead by twelve. Picked up another point, leading by twelve. Team USA. Turkey answers with a nine. Still a strong shot. Ten. Nice shot. Ten. Both of those targets for Turkey have nice mm. grouping patterns. I really agree. So we've got Matt now shooting. Ten. I think that's an X, wasn't it, Joe? Yep, I think it was. Very nice. And you could really hear him shout, done. <laughs> yes, and I'm sure there's a joke about raising my arm for that yeah. one too. <laughs> definitely, definitely team round we had it because I would shoot and then I'd put my hand up and he'd shoot and you'd be like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> Wonderful. A ten, oh, a questionable arrow from Andre. It's, uh, it's currently called an eight with a star behind it. Uh, possibly could be upgraded to a nine. Mm. I don't think the team's worried. <laughs> A nine from Ben to finish out that end. So we've got one end left. 
and at the moment it is a still an 11 point lead possibly possibly 12 points if the arrow gets upgraded <laughs> it's great to see so many people from the GB Paris squad Hazel and Chloe listening in uh, hello Chloe I'm glad you're watching I miss you too hope you get to I hope you get to see you soon it's nice to know that even even when some of the GB team and GB squad aren't out with us here today we have had the support from back home so thank you very much guys and that arrow from Team USA was upgraded. It went from an eight to a nine. Brilliant, so they are 12 points. 12 point lead. No time to rest on your laurels, though. The boys have still got to shoot the last end. Of the morning, everybody dressed in red. Everybody looking for a medal here. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it from Turkey. There we go. We've got the on-field uh, announcer getting the crowd involved. There's a roar there for the USA though, isn't there? Yeah. We can see them in the crowd, they're cheering, they're loving it. Turkey will start us out on this last end of the last match of the morning's festivities. I believe we have uh, ceremonies, medal ceremonies coming up right after this. If you're gonna stay in and uh, be in tune with that, we'd love to have you. Nicely done. Ten. Very there nice. And that's part of the challenge, you know, when you're when you are the archer who's down and, and you know you cannot presumably you can't you know there there doesn't appear to be a way to win just by shooting good arrows. You still yep. want to put your best effort forward. And shooting ten ten is the way to do it. There's a lot of pressure though, isn't there? Because when you're not being given wiggle room you know, you put that extra pressure on yourself to try and put them in the 10. Mm -hmm. eight, eight, 10, 10, 8 for Turkey. Looking strong. Bow arm is solid. Bow foot, bow leg. <laughs> I've got to come up that with a new, he new is set very of strong there, isn't he? Matt. This is the first time I've called a match with Matt in it. <laughs> Andre so Turkey still has three ar mm -hmm. arrows, even. Andre three Shelby arrows left in a ten. <laughs> So Turkey's picked up one. They're, they're still bound down by 11, but they have picked up a point. Final three arrows for Turkey. First archer is up. Shoots a nine. It was so close as well. Second archer. Ten. A nice ten. shot. Nicely done. The left target does seem to be a lot neater than the right. And a ten, ten to finish it out for Turkey. Wonderful shooting. Gives them a 57. They're very consistent. Uh, I think it would be in a different match if it, without that miss in the first round. Mm -hmm. First end, pardon me. USA, Great shot for USA. 
And Matt seems to be pleased with this performance. And nine for Andre Shelby. I think the celebration there was because some of the USA had realized that they have taken the match. By one point at this point. And time. now they have officially taken the match by 224 points to 214 so with a 10 point lead. So that the missing arrow, it could have been different. If it, if it had been a 10, it could have been a shoot off. Who knows? What a, what a day today. We've had Russia take bronze in the W1 Open. We've had Great Britain take gold in the W1 Open and a mixed team for, with China taking silver. In the compound mixed team, we've had Italy take bronze. We've also had China gold, Great Britain silver. Um, in the men's W1 Open team, we've had China take bronze. Russia take silver and USA take gold. And then the compound women open team, we've had Italy take bronze, Germany silver, Russia gold. And last but not least, the men's open compound team, Italy in bronze, Turkey silver and USA gold. What an exceptional day.